Welcome to our Yellowfin video on using auto maps. I'm currently in the report builder at the moment and I've already dragged in the fields that I'm going to need to create the maps. Now the fields I'm going to use are the zip code or postcode um, and I had previously in the view level linked up the zip code to the relevant geopack with a geo geography field. So I've also dragged in the geography field and then I've just pulled a metric in for my total invoiced amount. Uh, if you don't know how to link a field to a geopack, please see our other video about that. Now that I've got my data though, I'm ready to create a chart. So I'm going to go to my chart stage. Using auto chart, the first thing I'm going to drag in is my geography field. This means Yellowfin is going to automatically recognise that we want to do a map. Then I'm going to bring in my metric. Uh, so you've got options here for colour or size and it'll depend on the type of map and I'll show you the different ones now. So I'm going to start with saying the invoiced amount is going to drive the size of my point. So this is created like a bubble or a scatter map almost with the size of the bubble reflecting the total invoiced amount. Now I can just click on this little arrow on the side of our geography point and change the type of map that we want to use. So we could also do a heat map and this map would make a little bit more sense if invoiced was in our colour field so I'm just going to swap that over and now we can see a colour scale here. Please watch our separate video on setting your colour ranges for those different scales as well. Uh, lastly, the last type of map we have is a thematic map. And this one here is just a pinpoint and again that colour is being driven by the invoiced amount. Thank you for watching and please see our other videos for more quick tutorials.